This is a story of nine friends who've always dreamed of going on a road trip together. This year, it finally happened. It all started when I entered a draw for a junker car at Hoop Man. And the winner is Ashley Jumper! By the way, that's me. I feel like this is a blessing because my friends and I are planning a road trip this spring break and we didn't have enough cars to go, and now we do! And we can get it to work! I was excited, but my friends had lists of concerns. Tire sounds like we're gonna have to fix it every day. Seatbelt takes 10 minutes to disassemble, reassemble, and we don't know anything else about the car, so that concerns me. It's an enigma. We're driving an enigma to Northern California. Do we have a top list of problems that we expect? We don't drive on a like on a highway with a spare tire. Right? I just figure there'll be enough boys who have car know-how. Boys? No. We have Sarah. You know you guys are going to have a very memorable trip. No, no matter what it is, it'll be memorable. <laughs> Before heading out on the road, we had to do something about the inside of the Volvo. It was a mess. There are two main things we found from the last owners of the car. A lot of long white dog hair, and $9.76. With everything packed into the car, it was time to christen our baby. We went with the name Chester. <laughs> Chester has far exceeded all expectations. We grabbed the cheapest bottle of champagne we One, could find. Two, three. <laughs> After about nine more hits, we went in a different direction. Have faith, woman. Clearly, we were a little inexperienced with alcohol. <laughs> but with Andy as our driver, we were ready to go. In the next five days, we'd really get to know our car. Seems to take a little bit. If you don't, if you pull it fast, it's not gonna go anywhere. So. If you do it fast, nothing, nothing. Nice and easy. Stop the world for just a minute. My only complaint is that the speedometer does not work, so I have no idea how fast I'm going right now. When I feel kind of warm, the, the window opens, kind of slides open by itself. This power window's even worse. But we're not supposed to take them below about two inches, because otherwise, if they get stuck down there, we won't be able to get them up. <clears throat> looks like looks like a good car. Yeah. <laughs> what no. do I know about cars? Finding an open campground in early February was harder than we thought. And, well, we never really found one. This is a really good idea to go tenting in February. I woke up this morning and I went to the bathroom, which doesn't even work because we're here out of season and so you know, there's no running water or toilets flushing. It's only by coincidence that it's unlocked. With a thorough inspection of the car, a little air in the tires, and the realization that our oil temperature gauge doesn't work, we were ready to hit the road again in Oregon. And that's when Sarah got the first Mayday call. It didn't feel fantastic. Say what? The engine was smoking. Not good. Okay. Um, how would you be able to tell if it was overheating? You can't because 
our gauge doesn't work. Our temperature gauge doesn't work. Temperature that's gauge why we the have only thing that tells you? Temperature gauge, yeah. Oh. So that's why we have to be extra vigilant. Well, I think we're going to be fine. No. I think we're going to be fine. Okay. Everything is smelling pretty good. Have a good feeling about okay. it. about 20 minutes before the next Mayday call. Now something was rattling in the back tire. What was rattling? The only thing is like the wheel would be loose. I'm sure it's probably this. The wheel isn't loose. With no choice but to believe her, we continued on our way, making time for a few stops along the road. Somehow, we had made it. We spent two more days camping and exploring in California's beautiful Redwoods Forest. With only one more case of serious engine failure. But the question remained, would we make it back? The answer is yes. After accidentally getting on the wrong ferry and ending up in downtown Seattle. We are in Kingsport or Kingston, Edmonds, the ferry dock town. Why did it take so long? Do you know if there's another uh, ferry that leaves from the same port that goes to Seattle instead? I've seen before. Open up my heart to a love so pure and that I don't know how. I gotta have more cause. Oh, it's causing a commotion. Yeah, it's stirring up the ocean.